Hey YouTubers, what's going on? It's your boy Loki here from VFP Custom Prints with a quick tutorial basically showing you how to get those cut lines off these PNGs uh, files that you find. So basically in the other video I showed you how to cut it out. In this video I will be showing you how to get the cut lines. So basically here we are back with this sonic image and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our trace panel and we're going to select trace and we're going to select the trace area. Well, here we're going to take uh, select the whole image and your whole image. What we're going to try to do is push up our threshold and try to get as much as we can um, of him in there and with the picture as solid as we can. We're not trying to go over too much as solid as we can and that looks about good. Um, so then we're going to hit the trace button right here. Okay so now that we hit the trace button uh, we're going to separate the image. We're going to pull Sonic to the side and as you see, you have a little bit of these things in here, uh, you know, the eyes, uh, the feet and everything. So basically, a lot of people have different techniques on how to do theirs. What I do to make it easier, uh, just make it a little bit bigger so I can blow it up and see. So what I do is I select the whole image. Um, so we're going to go back here. We're going to go to our object and we're going to go release compound, uh, release compound path. I'm sorry. So what that does is now it frees up everything. And the easiest way I do is I just click and I just delete the portions I don't want maintaining the cut line um, it's just a faster way to do it there's many ways of doing it but I just find that this is faster because they're more accurate and you can see exactly what you're doing okay so now we have our cut line and we uh, reduce it a little bit we can bring Sonic in and you can see he's right on the cut line so suppose you want to have that little gap, little space, um, just so you can see around it a little bit better when you're printing it. So what the next step you're going to do is you're going to take the image right here and you're going to go to our offset page, offset panel. So we're going to offset it. Um, we're going to offset. There we go. And you know, you can go whatever distance you want. Um, you can go big, you can go small. I use that to keep it a decent size so just so it looks good around the image. Um, that's a little bit too big. Hold on, let me go back. That's about right. So now that you're offsetting the image, you see the double cut lines, or you see the double lines, and you see where the offset is going to be. So you're going to click the apply button. We'll wait for the process. Okay. So now that it's done, you see you have the uh, lines here, basically the offset, you still have the sonic image. And another thing what I like to do, um, like I said, I like to just be fast with it. So I, I like to zoom in and then you're going to select the, the inner picture, the inner one, just so you know. There you go, delete. So now when you go back in, you have your sonic and there are your cut lines. Place them back in. And see, you see all the cut lines. I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. You can see the cut lines around him of what's going to be cut out. And as you go to the send button, you also see the red cut lines. And basically, on a quick tutorial, that is how we get our cut lines around the PNG image. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. A quick tutorial of how you get the cut lines around your PNG images. Thank you.